Hi everybody, welcome back to the reviewers. Today I'll be doing a performance review on the Nike PG 2.5. So let's just go straight into it. Um, let's just give you some uh, background details. This is PG's two, PG 2, but 2.5. So I don't know why there's 2.5, but you know, it is what it is. So let's go straight into the traction. So you can see this is... Um, a multi-directional traction and as you can see um, the traction is actually pretty good it's pretty solid on clean cords uh, on dust it does trap dust as you can see there's lots of dust it traps it's like a magnet that traps dust I have no idea why maybe because it's translucent but yeah um, on dust it's pretty solid as well but not as solid as when it's on a clean cord I would say uh, on a clean cord, I'll give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10, but on dust, I'll give it a 7 or 8 out of 10. For durability, no, guys, don't play in this. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Look at this durability. It is, it's, it's like, it's not free. It's like, you can see the frame here. And you can see that, like, how to say, like, uh, it's legit super bad. I'm not gonna lie. I only played this in a one, like, three times and it's like you can see that you can see the difference the durability is very poor to be honest guys i don't know how to explain it but you can see for yourself all right so um overall i'll give the traction an 8.5 out of 10 okay now let's move on to the cushioning setup so um the pg 2.5 features a four foot zoom uh zoom air um followed by just phylon midsole and Actually, compare comparing this PG two point five to the PG ones, the PG the PG two point five the zoom is, I feel I can feel the zoom, uh, more than PG ones quite a lot more. I think that this is top loaded, while the PG one is just bottom loaded. <laughs> so, uh yeah, I would say the cushioning setup is pretty good. Um, the heel is pretty hard. Look, look, guys, I can't even use my hand to really compress. Look. Can you even see? I can't really, I'm literally using strength, but I can't even really compress it that much. Um, while stepping comfort, the mid, the insole is pretty comfortable. It's just um, the back part is pretty dead. You know what I'm saying? So uh, impact protection. Actually, when I played in these, my feet didn't hurt, but um, impact protection is pretty okay, I guess. And you can see that there's a lot of Achilles pillows, as you can see here can see as you can see there's a lot of Achilles pillows and stuff like this yeah so yeah and it's a well padded tongue so yeah cushioning setup I'll give it an 8.5 of 10 because I really can feel the zoom in it which I love it now let's move on to the support lockdown and containment um, so for support it's really a really supportive shoe um, no matter your size although I know that Zion broke the shoe that's that's an exception I believe that Nike have their own problem because when I play in this shoe, I didn't have any issue. Okay, because let's start off with this strap. This is a Velcro strap. Um, it's like in the PG ones, but this Velcro strap, um, is very similar. You can see that how this mechanism works when you pull this, it actually tightens up, but not really a lot. But it does work by tightening your forefoot. I feel that um the PG one tightens more than this. Um, so yeah, I feel that PG one is better than this. Alright, so um, the support is pretty good. As you can see, there's this outrigger, uh, quite a huge outrigger, which give you a wider base of support. You know what I'm saying? We give you a wider base of support um, so that you won't roll your ankle easily. Um, I feel that the lacing system is pretty uh, supportive as well. Like with these two um, body after, you can see these two. Uh, it's a different material as well. So yeah, I'll give a support a 9 out of 10. Now let's move on. To the materials so they feature they feature a mesh material as well as you can see it's just a typical mesh pretty thin um but it's pretty hot in there ventilation is pretty poor as well but it's pretty thin um you can see uh, this part i think this is just a fuse and here for added durability so that the shoe won't rip apart that easily and when you go to the back of it there's some uh, synthetic material i think that's some polyester yeah it's just some polyester um okay it's not that bad but yeah so give the materials uh, eight of eight out of ten 
So now let's move on to the lacing system. So now the hook features a, vel uh, a velcro strap. The lacing system is actually just like that. Just one, there's only one loophole here. Ah, uh, one loop here. Guys, I'm looking, one loophole. And, oh sorry, there's, there's only one eyelet and one loophole. That's it. That's it guys, because there's a velcro strap. So I feel that it's actually pretty good, easy, easy to um, modify your own laces and tie up. So yeah, uh, it's not that bad. So now let's move on to the aesthetics. Um, I actually pretty like the PG's aesthetics. Um, I like the, up, um, the backward swoosh, the velcro straps. Maybe not the best colorway, but yeah, I feel that the aesthetic is pretty good, guys. You can take a look, right? For me personally, I feel that way. Maybe you guys have different opinions, right? So yeah, I'll give it aesthetics an hour of 10. This, I have seen some dope colors with the PS4s. Uh, yeah, that that's the PS1 is a dope color. With me. So yeah, so wrapping things up. Um, I'll give the PG 2.5 actually an 8.5 out of 10. Because the traction is pretty solid except for the durability. Shh socks as well the cushioning i like the four i love four foot zoom so the four foot zoom just the heels just a bit dead uh, but that stepping cover is pretty good um the materials are not very premium but okay it's average um but the aesthetics is pretty good so at a price of hundred dollars a hundred ten sorry i'll get it i'm not lying but provided you're playing indoors because the durability is bad. Unless you're getting a few pair of these, then alright, then I can stop there as well. So, yeah, so that pretty much takes care of the performance review of the Nike PG 2.5. Um, thank, you, thank you for watching and if you have any comments, please comment it down below. And thank you everyone. See you the next time.